What's up, IT pros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your host, Alvin Drill. And in this video, I'm going to be resetting the BIOS, well, the system password for a Dell Optiplex 5050 Micro. So what you are seeing right now is the, the monitor, it's dark. So I'm going to turn on this, lap, this, this laptop, this desktop computer, and you're going to see this right away. This computer system, you see the, the serial number, is protected by a password authentication system. You cannot access the data on this computer without the correct password. Please buy the system or administrator password. So as you can see, I don't have the password. You can see there Optiplex 5050. I have done some videos in the past for other, other Dell models. If you're interested in those, you can do it clicking in the top right of this screen. So we cannot do anything here. I can literally don't do, cannot do anything. I cannot boot anything. I cannot boot a USB or another Windows version. I cannot do anything. So we cannot reset this with software. We have to do it with hardware. So in this case, we have to shut down the computer. So we just press the power button and the computer is going to shut down. So allow me a few seconds and I'm going to change the, my camera view. So you can see there, and this is the desktop computer. It's very small, as you can see here. I have done a review in the, in the past about this model. If you're interested in those, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So as you can see, I don't have any, I'm not wearing any jewelry or any watches, and I'm getting rid of the static electricity in my body by touching the case. So I'm going to disconnect everything, as you can see here, that's the, you can see the model, Optiplex 5050. And I'm going to press the power button for about 10 seconds to get rid of the power storing the capacitors on the motherboard. So after that, this is very easy to, to remove. As you can see here, I only need a um, Phillips screwdriver or a plain screwdriver. So it's very easy to do. That's the antenna for the wireless, for the Wi-Fi, and that's the um, network port. So it's very easy to do. I'm going to push it a little, but I'm struggling. It's, it's kind of, it was kind of stuck. So I'm going to use my two hands. And now we have removed the cover. As you can see, it's very easy. And you can see there. I have done a video in the past about this, like I mentioned before, and I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So you can check it with more detail if you're interested in this specific model. So as you can see here, it's very small. I'm going to do a size comparison. Well, I have a nine volt battery here and you can see it. So it's very light as well. And it's very, you can put it in very crowded desktops, well, desks, I'm sorry. So the thing here is that depending on your model, the pins that we need to look for might be in different places. In this specific motherboard model is next to the CMOS battery. So that kind, that silver thing that looks like a coin. So I'm going to do a close up. And as you can see there, we have some pins. This is what you have to look for. And if you read above, it says JMP, which is jumper number one. So as you can see, we have three rows, one on top, one in the middle and one in the bottom. The one we need to, to remove is the one in the middle, as you can see me doing there. So that's the one we have to remove and that's the jumper. So very gently, you're going to remove this. It's very easy. You don't have to use much force. And then, as you can see here, I'm showing you, we have removed the one in the middle. So we have three rows there or two columns. And that's pretty much it for the moment. So I'm going to connect everything back. I'm not going to put the cover because we're going to use it still, but I forgot to connect the power. So I, I, I just have done that and I'm going to turn on the computer. So we see this message. This goes by very fast. So the video is slow down and I'm going to read it. The hardware jumper is removed to override the system password settings. System password has been erased and password cannot be changed. Please connect the hardware jumper to perform any password changes. So. As soon as you see this, you know that the password has been reset. So if you don't do anything, it's going to go directly to Windows. So that's a good thing. You now have access to it. But if you don't change the settings, if you don't put back the jumper, you are going to see this every time the computer is restarted. So we don't want that. So I'm going to change back to the, uh, to the desktop computer and I'm going to disconnect everything one more time. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to press the power button button for another 10 seconds and I'm going to do a close up. So the only thing we have to do now that we know the password is erased, we're going to put it back the same way it was before we, we remove it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, now I'm going to connect everything back one more time. You can see the fan is spinning, but it's not on yet. So 
allow me a few seconds to allow my camera to adjust my camera i'm sorry so i'm going to press the power button and now i'm going to press f2 to access the bios because i, I know we have seen that it's working so we have not seen the message anymore so you can see the model dell optiplex 5050 and now hello allow me a few seconds so i can adjust the camera one more time and now we are going to go to boot settings so as you can see here i can do any changes that i want there's the disket drive i don't know <laughs> why that's even there we don't use that anymore and now i'm going to go to security so we have two passwords here the admin password and the administrator password and i'm sorry the system password and the admin the system password is the one that was set up in this computer so as you as soon as you turn on the computer it's going to show you that message so you cannot do anything as you can see here it says not set on the right because we have reset it and if you go up to the admin password that's kind of similar but it's only for the bios it's also not set that means that with that password you can access the bios but you cannot make any change but at least you have access to windows and all that it's always a good idea to have a password uh, at, uh, at least the bios password especially if you are in an enterprise environment so some people cannot tamper with the settings of the bios okay and this method that we have done works for both for the system and the admin password so any any of those that you may have is going to work so i don't have anything else to do to, he to do here so i'm going to to quit and the system is going to restart i'm not going to press anything now and there you go we can log into windows and the last step is going to be to put back the cover so the computer is on i should legally shut it down but since this is very easy to put back i'm not going to do it as you can see me doing here and now i'm going to just um, secure the screw with my only with my fingers and that's pretty much it that's all you need to do in this model so that's all i wanted to show you in this video guys um, a way to reset the system password or the bios password which is the admin for this model a optiplex 5050 so if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always i'll see you in the next video